Hi guys, my name is Adrian from Travel and Tell No One and for those who don't know me, I'm a passionate traveler and not long ago decided to spread this passion with you, my fellow travelers. In one point or another you have definitely heard about Pompeii, the city that was buried alive. So without further ado, let's discover this mystery town. But wait, didn't we forget something? Ah, yes. Let's see how we can arrive to Pompeii. Traveling from Naples should be very easy. Travel by train from Napoli Centrale, also called Garibaldi, to Pompeii's Cavi station and shortly you will spot the archaeological site of Pompeii. Now that we are here, let's explore this mystic city. Not a lot of people know that Pompeii was originally Greek. Greek sailors used this location as a safe port. If you plan to visit Pompeii and Vesuvius, you should definitely visit Vesuvius first because uh, it has a really tight schedule and you can visit Pompeii also in the afternoon. Researchers made plaster casts of the victims. They noticed that there were empty spaces in the ash layers showing where there had once been human bodies. They dug through the ash, they injected plastic into these voids which solidified in the shape of the space. Replicas were made of the positions people were in when they died. Pompeii was conquered by the Romans and in a short time it became very important for the Roman trade exchangers as it started to export wine and olive oil even to Provencal and Spain. Before the big eruption from 79 AD, Pompeii was a famous location for rich Romans that spent holidays there. If the eruption had taken place on any other day, the people of Pompeii might have stood a better chance of escape. Usually the wind blows in a southwesterly direction which would have blown to the Bay of Naples. Be sure you will take at least two or three hours to visit the archaeological site of Pompeii. Terme Stabiane are the most ancient establishment in the town. It served as a spa with cold bath, rooms for relaxation and massage, hot bath and rooms for cleaning. It's our second day in Italy and First day we saw Naples and today we had a really nice pleasure to see the volcano of Vesuvius. Now we are here in an archaeological site of Pompeii. It's really beautiful and weather is perfect, 27 degrees, sunny day and Life is beautiful. The amphitheater of Pompeii is the oldest stone building of its kind known to mankind, dating back to 80 BC. Pompeii is now the world's largest archaeological site. It covers a vast 150 acres, so you must visit it. And of course, please visit also my channel and subscribe. You will find also everything you need to know if you plan to climb Mount Vesuvius. The catastrophic eruption took place on the 24th of August 79 AD and it was said to have lasted more than 24 hours. Pompeii had a population of around 15,000 people and an estimated 2,000 died. Nowadays, population of Pompeii is slightly over 20,000 people. We end this great day here in uh, Pompeii where we had a 
so much fun we made a lot of video I can't wait to edit it and uh, show it to you it's been a great time here and I'm uh, totally impressed of uh, Pompeii ruins it's incredible what happened here if you have the chance please come here and see it uh, subscribe to travel and tell no one and we'll keep in touch